Welcome to State of Tech. Today, an iPhone tip for you, how to remove those pesky apps that come fresh on your new iPhone. Now, in the past, Apple has not allowed us to delete all of these apps. And as you can see by the folder that I've created called Apple, that's been my practice. I put all the apps that I don't use or all of Apple's apps in there just to get them out of the way because a lot of them I don't use. And in the past, we haven't been able to get rid of them. But if you'll notice that if you tap and hold real gently on your apps and they start to bounce, there are several of these apps that you could get rid of. So if you don't use the iBooks app, you can remove it. If you don't use the Stocks app, you can remove it. If you don't use Apple's default mail app, you can remove it. You can actually get rid of these applications. And then of course, if you need them back, just head on over to the App Store and re-download them. It's as simple as that. So if you're looking to free up a little bit of extra space on your device, or maybe you have a little bit of home screen OCD like me, and you wanna just get some of those apps out of the way, definitely you can do that now by just deleting them and then getting them back later if you need them in the app store. They're always there, they're free, they download really simply, just like any other app. So that's gonna do it for today's kind of quick tip on iOS. Obviously, this is a cool feature that Apple finally listened to those of us that want a cleaner home screen, and now we have it. So if you want more videos like this, if you wanna be notified when they come out, make sure to subscribe to our channel here on State of Tech on YouTube, and we hope to see you back here soon. Thanks a lot.